Hi guys, my name is Ekat and today is a cardistry basics tutorial where we're going to learn the Akira combo and I have a few people to credit. But before we get into that, I just wanted to give a shout out to this awesome vintage lens that I'm using for the intro. It's a vintage Jupiter 85 millimeter lens all the way from the Soviet Union. And it's crazy because it was created in 1958 and it still works on my Sony camera. So that's pretty cool. But when you're gonna see my hands, I'm gonna switch lenses to something that has autofocus so you can follow along and learn. So who do we need to credit? We need to credit Dan and Dave Buck for the Cure Move. The closure is a combination of the Revolution Cut by Brian Tudor with Backdrop by Kevin Ho. Grab your deck of foxes and let's get started. The first step is going to be shifting from mechanics grip to your right hand. And this is the grip. You have your thumb on the bottom right and you will have your middle and ring, okay? So just like this, once again, you have your thumb, middle and ring. And the ring will shift towards the corner grip to be able to be that other grip point for the packet that's going to pivot first. And the first packet that will pivot is gonna be the bottom one, this one, and see how it's going to be connected to the ring finger now. So what is the other pivot point? Well, that's going to be this little crease in your left hand. So you're gonna to have to practice with the ring on this side to grip with your skin a little bottom packet. You don't want this to be too big, okay? If it's too big, it's going to be very difficult to pivot for you. So once again, you're here in mechanics grip, you're casually coming in like this, you slide the ring to be at that very corner, your palm is ready, and you go ahead and you cut a packet. And I try to stay actually parallel to the floor because if I'm vertical in this case, gravity might actually not be my friend here and I'm going to lose that packet. So I do stay sort of 45 degrees, but some, sometimes I do align myself to be more parallel with the ground. Now, how do you pivot that bottom packet once you're here? Well, that's going to be your ring finger from the left hand that needs to come from this sneaky position. You see how it just grips from here and then you're able to pivot. Okay, and notice the position of my pinky here. I can then use friction and push down, so away from me with the ring and that pinky and ring can pull out and strip a card. So that's a really neat display in itself and you could technically close everything and stop there, but we're doing this combo properly. So let's continue. From here, you've cut what you need to cut. You are pivoting, you're using friction, pull that out. And here you will notice that you are in this position that allows you to use your index to cut that packet, either one third or half, it doesn't really matter and you see that your <laughs> index and thumb, basically any free finger is going to do something. So here I'm able to just swing cut that portion, always maintaining that first packet that we were spinning. All right, this is getting a little bit complicated in terms of how many packets we have open. Switching to voiceover because the wind was way too strong. So here you'll see that the trick is to clip that card with the right pinky and it's all about the rotation of your palms. So you rotate to access that packet, you rotate back and everything just closes in place. Your right hand, you need your thumb to go right under that card so that you could easily back palm. This is a modified back palm, which is Kevin Ho's back drop, which you probably already know. You just have to give it enough spring. Now, in this case, I'm doing a revolution cut and you can see the wind just pushed that card. Yeah, anything will work. This is doing a full revolution, one revolution. So you could be very confident that it, it will land. So you could do a Charlier cut, but just play with it. So from another angle, you see how your ring finger will reach out to rotate that first packet that you need to rotate. And this is probably the hardest part to be able to strip that card. Make sure to practice just that. You swing cut a packet over 
and here there you go i'm getting that card clipped everything just closes naturally with your palms rotating that card goes into that position ready and that's how you catch it's very very simple what i want to show you now is some slow motion as you can see here so my voice is going to disappear we're going to put on some music and enjoy the practice it guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if so i want to see a thumbs up and definitely subscribe for more of these thank you so much for watching once again and i'll see you very soon